What's up, guys? I'm at SHOT Show, day one, at the Magpul booth, and I have Chad here. Introduce yourself to the world. Yeah. Hey, I'm Chad Harlan. I'm a uh, charge of marketing for Magpul. And, yeah, he's going to give us a walk around of the whole booth, just kind of look around and see what they got. This caught my eye right when I walked in. I was like, yeah. that is awesome. Yeah. That is freaking cool. All right. So, the backpacker, right? Yeah, so here we have the X-22 backpacker, which is kind of an evolution where we have the uh, the Hunter stocks back there, and then we have the uh, Hunter X-22 and uh, X-22 takedown. So basically, this is the takedown. Uh -huh. And so, uh, for the takedown of the Ruger 1022, just like the backpacker is. The difference is, is the backpacker is made to stow into itself and has a storage compartment. Oh, I see. So, so this one you can mount the barrel into it, this one you can't. Correct. That kind of naturally evolved into the uh, X-22 backpacker. That is cool. I got to get this, yeah. by the way. I already know I want this, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so, uh, the great thing about the backpacker is, like the takedown, uh, you know, it comes it comes apart. However, the difference is that it actually stows into itself, like such. That is cool. So you just put the yeah. the chamber, I guess it is, yeah. right in here, and it yeah. clicks. It clicks in. Uh huh. It snaps in, so you know it's nice and sturdy, and then it also protects the uh, you know the back of the barrel. Very cool. So then um, you also have a storage compartment in the buttstock. And um, you can get about three magazines in there, or one magazine and a box of ammo, or you know, survival gear, whatever, whatever you want. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The stock also comes with a higher cheek riser, so that if you want to put a uh, an optic on it, oh okay, uh, you can either choose the, uh, the standard, or you can actually put on the different one. Oh, so you would with. actually just remove this completely and put a taller one? Exactly. Oh, okay. Very cool. Yeah, and then um, it also has uh, storage. So if you look underneath the uh, grip there, it has like a little O-ring in there, so it's waterproof. So how do you release the barrel? Oh, you just yeah, squeeze right just there. just like that right there. Okay. Yeah, so then uh, in here there's a storage. Like I said, it has like a little O-ring seal. Nice, it's water so tight. You can store things there, store things there. Put your matches in there. Yeah, and then actually I'll go and uh, reassemble. That is slick. Um, I know guys are going to ask me, how much is something like this going to go for? Uh, I think the stock retails for around 109. Okay, and, not uh, too bad. It should be available uh, fairly soon. I think we, we slated it for spring. Okay. Now, of course, you know, there's always testing and nice. retesting and, and more testing. I am going to try to get my hands on one of these right away. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah one more thing. Uh, we actually also are uh, coming out with a uh, optic mount, which is on that rifle. So with this version of the uh, backpacker, uh, we put an optic mount on it and it's actually going to be sold separately but should be uh, launching soon. And uh, it's basically a barrel mounted um, optics mount so that it remains zeroed so even if you, um, you know, take the stock apart and put it back together, the uh, zero should remain the same. And uh, it's basically locked down in there. It's completely wrapped around the barrel. Exactly. Nice. Exactly. Uh, so that'll be an, a, um, an available option. Very cool. My mind is already starting to go crazy thinking about how I'm going to do mine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to get, um, I want to get one with that nice heavy barrel. I kind of like the tax all, but yeah, uh, fantastic. Oh, yeah. And you were saying also too, it'll fit all the different models, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, this should be compatible with pretty much any uh, Ruger 1022. Um, you know, light uh, version, the standard heavy barrel. Um, this one's obviously on the uh, Taxol heavy barrel. And then the other one that we looked at is on the uh, 